Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this quick video, I'm gonna be showing you a VS Code tip. Now, I've been really thinking hard about what to do for another weekly series on this channel. And I'm thinking VS Code tips may be it. So if you want to see a weekly VS Code tip from me, please let me know, leave a comment below, and I could bring that to you. Okay, so this one is going to be fast and furious. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be showing you how you can split and move a pane in VS Code. And this is something I just found out uh, thanks to a, qu a question I asked on Twitter, actually. I, I asked this question and a lot of confused people, a lot of people saying, huh, I really want that uh, bit of functionality. And then uh, Colby Garland at X-C-O-L-B-Y-G, uh, that's his Twitter handle, and he sent me the solution. But first, let's actually show you what the problem is, okay? Let's say we have a file here, and we want to split this file to the right. Now, typically, you could just use the keyboard shortcut, which I believe is command backslash, but that actually opens up my one password. So I don't use it anyways because of this reason. When you, when you run split pane, it does this. It opens up the exact same file side by side, which let's be honest, how many times do you really want to do that? I, that's like almost never something I want to do. And people say that, oh, it's for when you have large files. Oh, okay, uh, I, I don't know, I'll usually collapse things or jump to spots in my files more than having a giant file. I typically don't have huge files anyways. So how the heck do you split a pane and then move the file over? Well, it turns out the answer is move editor into next group. So you can get to this from the command palette by saying move editor into next group, or uh, you can check out what the keyboard shortcut is for this thing. Now, I personally um, changed the keyboard shortcut. I use hyper, which is a combination of option, shift, command, and control. And I assign that to my caps locks key. So I use caps locks as an additional modifier key. And I changed mine to hyper S. So I don't know what the initial shortcut was, but uh, you can just look that up on your own. And mine is now hyper S and check this out. If I do hyper S, it moves and opens this one to a new side here on a new panel. And what's nice about this is it will work. Um, it will work even if you don't have anything open over here. So if this is just this, no, it's not gonna work if I only have one file open. So that's not really a thing, but it's pretty, but it's pretty neat here command or hyper S opens up a window to the side. Awesome. So move editor into next group is the ticket here. Assign this to a shortcut that you're going to remember and use this thing all the time because I know I will. So again, if you like this VS Code tip, let me know and I'll continue to do more of these videos. Also, go give Colby a follow on on, uh, on the Twitter. That's at X-C-O-L-B-Y. G, so X Colby G, Professor Colby Garland on Twitter. Thanks so much for Colby, and thank you for watching this. And again, let me know if you wanna see more tips. I got tons of these things. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.